So let's get back to and see uh, to this lecture and see how you can add comments and uh, documentation to the script. So we have here this uh, script "Hello World." And uh, let's uh, first of all. So what I usually do is uh, if I have one window, then I press Ctrl Z and put it in the background, and I can run Perl "Hello PL" and this will print uh, this "Hello World." Now, if you recall, I told you that uh, use strict and use warnings I, I quite important uh, two things in uh, in uh, Perl and I would really recommend to use them all the time I'll switch back to again and then run it just to see that it still works so now we need to add the comment uh, the way to add it is uh, to put a um, hash mark and then uh, some comment and you can also well you can also add here at the end of the the line so this is also a comment and if i switch back and i can run it and uh, th these are just comments so probably will still run the, the code and then the documentation is uh, something that starts with uh, with a pod and then you would put in a uh, head one this is some kind of a title and then uh, here we put some text and uh, let's say it, we end with this and I put it in, on purpose in a very in, in very dense uh, way so I, I, I run this code and it still works and now if I type in Perl doc and the name of the file it uh, should uh, give my doc documentation uh, but it uh, tells me about some some problems uh, so it says it shouldn't be in one long line the problem is that uh, pod needs uh, empty rows around it so the best is to put empty rows around uh, that tag now if I go back again and I try product again it's already a little bit better it says title text it doesn't recognize the doesn't separate the title and the text and the reason is is again because you don't have here we I didn't add uh, empty rows so I have to add empty rows and then it's gonna be better if I type in now the Perl doc then you can see that this is the title this is the text uh, well in this case you don't see it so obviously that this is like uh, capital letters, but uh, there is some some difference. Uh, if you if you are generating an HTML file out of this, it would be much uh, much better. So, if I go back again to the editor, you can uh, see that I can add the here more text and another paragraph. So you will see that these two end up on one line, and then this is a separate paragraph. So if I type Perl doc again, you see that uh, these ended up on one line. So Perl will the Perl doc part will disregard here any, any new lines. They will be just uh, one new line of word par paragraph obviously if you have uh, lots of uh, text here I'm just trying to type in some garbage and more of these then you will see that um, it actually spreads it on, on several lines so this is just f fills up the, the whole line and then the next line and so on and this is just a separate paragraph but if you write some other code like here we store something here this um, more text right that part is uh, well it's partially indented the, the point is the reason is not because I indented is because this text is shown verbatim so uh, let's show it further in this case you see that they are they, it kept the lines the kept the line separation and the reason is that these are shown verbatim the idea is that 
you would put general text explanations here like this starting from the beginning of the row and if you have code examples that you want to to keep it the same way as you type in then you would indent them a couple of uh, spaces let's say two spaces and then whatever you put here put here will be shown as it is so these are the basic six of things of documentation let's see what happens if you put here a, a head two this is a subtitle right so if i type prologue again well you see this is um, less in than this is the, from the beginning is lightly indented so here this is the, this is the way it can show on the command line what is the title what is a subtitle uh, but you could use the pod to html and take the hello pl and then create a let's say hello html file and um, it complains about something but uh, let's try it with uh, links you will see that uh, it actually creates you an HTML file with uh, the top titles and then the title here and so on. So you can use any browser to view this file. Yeah, let's try with this one. So uh, if I open the, the file which is home Perl maven and then hello html right this is the file i just generated so you can see that it created the the top part of it it's just extracted it and here you can see that this is a title capital big letters and the smaller letters the subtitles and then this is the text that was just a simple text and this is the verbatim you can even see that this is a monotype so you can see it how how it uh, it makes uh, clear so that's the way how you would add the user documentation and then uh, just to make it uh, clear again the these things are for comments for people who are supposed to maintain your code and this is doc uh, documentation for people who are not supposed to look in your source code so the users of your either your script or later when you're writing modules and the users are actual programmers then even them they shouldn't look into your source code they should only need to check out uh, the documentation using uh, Perl doc